In the voice of Russia World Service, welcome to another edition of the Christian Message from Moscow. Christian, it would seem, should know about the Ten Commandments of the Lord. These are the Ten Basic Laws, which, according to the Bible, the Lord Himself gave Moses on Mount Sinai, on the fiftieth day after the exodus of the Jews from Egypt. However, ask any Christian to name the Ten Commandments, and you will discover that far from all of them can do this. Let us now recall them. I am the Lord your God. Do not have any other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol, whether in the form of anything that is in heaven above, or that is on the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. For six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. Honor your father and your mother, so that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor, you shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, or male or female slave, or ox, or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. And now listen to what Archimandrite Ambrose Urasov, Father Superior and Spiritual Director of the Convent of the Holy Dormition, in the town of Ivanova. Says of the spiritual significance of the Lord's commandments. Даже те люди, которые не знают закона Божьего, то закон у каждого человека написан в сердце. У каждого человека есть совесть, а совесть это голос Божий, и Господь знает. Even if some people do not know the Lord's law. It is still written in their hearts. Every person has a conscience, and conscience is the voice of the Lord in your soul. And the Lord knows that some people live by their conscience, while others lull their conscience to sleep. However, no matter how hard a person might try to lull his conscience to sleep, it nonetheless awakens and incriminates the person, because. It is none other than the voice of the Lord. When the Lord came to our world, He came not to violate the law, but to observe it. Everything that is written in the Bible remains in force, because all the words of the Holy Writ are imbued with the Spirit of God. Let us open the fifth book of the Bible, Deuteronomy. There, in chapter twenty-eight, the Lord addresses Israel, and as such. All of us Christians, with the following words: And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all His commandments which I command thee this day, 
and that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee, and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kine, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket, and thy store. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself, as he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, and in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swore unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven, to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head, and not the tail and thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. In the same chapter of Deuteronomy, the Lord spoke of what would be if the Lord's commandments were not observed. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kine, and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke, in all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee, until he have consumed thee from off the land, whither thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption, and with a fever, and with an inflammation, and with an extreme burning, and with the sword, and with blasting, and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. The Lord shall make the rain of thy land powder in dust, from heaven shall it come down upon thee, until thou be destroyed. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies, thou shalt go out one way against them, and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air, and unto the beasts of the earth, and no man shall fray them away. The Lord will smite thee with the botch of Egypt, and with the emirates, and with the scab, and with the itch, whereof thou canst not be healed. 
The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart, and thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. And so, alas, judging by what we see around us, people remain deaf to the Lord's commandments. And, quite obviously, we shall yet have to experience and suffer a lot. And we shall continue to suffer until we turn to God with genuine penitence and start living in accordance with His commandments, until we accept and embrace our Lord Jesus Christ, our Saviour, who suffered and died for us and was resurrected and awaits us in heaven. You were listening to Archimandrite Amvrosi Yurasov reflecting on the Lord's Ten Commandments. He reminded us all that not only individual people, but whole nations pay a dear price for a negligent and frivolous attitude to the Lord's Ten Commandments. And there we end another edition of the Christian Message from Moscow. It was directed by Vladimir Diomin, editor of text and music Tatiana Shvitsova, sound engineers Nadezhda Smirnova and Yelena Gashenikova. The text was read by Pavel Novichkov and your host, Svetlana Yakimenko. Tune in to hear our following program, same time next week. All the best to you. And may God save you from all evil, visible and invisible.